Hey guys, it's Charlene here, the Artistic Director for the Australian Dance Festival and we're here at the opening of Hairspray the Musical in Sydney and today with me is Jazz who plays Tracy Tamblad. So, um, what do you love most about playing the part of Tracy? Oh, look, I like playing, there's pretty much nothing about Tracy that I don't enjoy but I think being able to play a character that I'm proud of and um, I enjoy who she is and I enjoy what she stands for and um, you know she's a bigger girl and she doesn't see why that should matter and um, yeah I enjoy I, I, yeah I enjoy playing something that I believe in I guess yeah and so you've been quoted saying that uh, you don't see why you can't live your dream um, and not be a size six Correct. you're an amazing role model to dancers who often are pressured to be thin um, what advice would you give to them about body image I think you need to, I keep using the word proud, but I think, I think you need to be proud of who you are and what your body looks like. And, you know, if, if you can dance, you can dance. It doesn't matter what size you are. And um, I think Tracy's a very good example of that. I mean, you know, regardless that wh what, what I'm wearing isn't necessarily what I look like. I'm underneath all this. I am a bigger girl and I've always, you know, I've always been bigger than a size six. And um, I've had a fantastic career. So I don't, I, I don't see why it should matter. Yeah. And you're also a mind for being able to win the roles that um, you necessarily um, don't fit the part of, you know, by changing the producer's mind. I mean, how do you actually do that? How do you have your amazing confidence to be able to do that? Um, you know, I, I, I have confidence in my ability and, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm never going to go for, for something that I don't think that I can successfully portray to an audience and, um, you know... I, the fact that Tracy's meant to be five foot tall I, I think is irrelevant. I mean the stage is <laughs> how many metres high and I'm pretty sure I look pretty small. So um, you know, I, you know it's, it's, at the end of the day it's just a mould of kind of what they would like yeah. and if you don't fit into it you just you know, you just prod and poke them <laughs> until, until they agree with you. That's great. <laughs> it doesn't always work though. I, w I wish I could say you know, oh look I'm right for every role. That is a lie ladies and gentlemen, lies. But um, you know, th this, one, this one worked in my favour. That's good. And we've actually got a couple of questions or a question from um, our friends on Facebook. Sure. So they wanted to know how much time do you spend rehearsing every day and do you have to have some sort of special diet? Like how do you maintain the stamina to be able to play the role? Well, we did two months of rehearsal before we opened. So, um, and that was eight to 10 hours a day, every day. Oh, sorry, that was six days a week um, for two months, and that that kind of got us into shape. And then um, we don't actually—I don't rehearse during the day. And once the show has started and it's opened, I don't do any rehearsals. Mm -hmm. But in order to stay show fit, because otherwise I will pass out and die in the first number, um, I, I go to the gym every day and I try to eat healthily. Don't get me wrong, you, if you don't treat yourself, you live a very boring life. So, yeah. you know, if I want Maccas, I'm going to go eat Maccas, but I just don't do it every day. You just <laughs> make sure that you look after yourself and treat yourself and, yeah. you know, it's a healthy balance. Cool. And you played the role of Mabel in Fame before mm -hmm. scoring the lead of Tracy in Hairspray. Um, you've received rave reviews about your amazing voice. What are your future plans? Um... I don't really have any future plans at the moment. I'm going to ride the hairspray train for a bit and, and see where that takes me. And, you know, I'd, I'd love to get a record deal. I mean, who wouldn't? Yeah. But, um, you know, it just, just depends where the world takes me. I'd love to go to Broadway. I'd love to be an actor. I'd, like, I'd love to do it all. So, um, you know, I'll, I'll do this for as far as it takes me and, and hopefully that opens up some doors for me and I can, you know, maybe start something new. Who knows? Great. Well, thank you very much for your time. Good luck with the rest of the hairspray tour and hopefully we'll see you again in something new. Thank you very Thanks. much.